Welcome on to R and R. Happy Wednesday to you. It's Wednesday, right? Yeah, my trash is out. Did you get it this week? I got. It. Was it I'm blowing. I feel like I needed to tape some. Uh, a lot of trash talk this morning. I felt like I needed to tape some extra money onto the bags because, you know, I live out in the county mm-hmm. and I have to contract for our trash pickup. I don't have, I have to go find a company. And uh, I'm on the lowest rung of how much you pay. So I get a can. It's a big Just can one. like you guys get. I get like one. you fancy city folk. Man, we don't um, want to live where we live. You fancy city folk, you get those nice cans the city just gives you. Yeah. You just expect it to come and go. Just, you know, you pay through your taxes. Um, I have to pay. And uh, so we have, I just get one. But, and I get, a, they allow me to, basically, I think the contract says you can have three things on the ground. Oh, okay. You can have a can and two bags. You can have three cans. And only one of them has to be with one of theirs. You can have your own on the other ones. They're not nearly oh, as big. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I left this morning and there. I had uh, eight bags of uh, trash. Jeez. There's a couple of Christmas bags. Because you missed last week. Yeah, yeah, I missed last week because uh, my wife is out of town and I'm unable to do things like normal adults. Well, like. uh, but for me, the trash, it's a long way. It's not an easy get. It's not an easy go. I mean, no. It's, it's it's a hike. It's a 30-minute outing to walk out and hike down there and get it and walk back. It's not. And did you did, did you get it all in one trip? My 82-year-old dad has no problems. He has it yeah. every week. So. Did you me. get it all in one trip? No, I, what I did this time was uh, I threw it all in the back of my wife's car and drove it down. That's what I figured. Like you need, you need but you got to be real careful of that because you don't you know leak, what's coming out of those bags. Yeah, if you, it leaks, you're screwed. Oh. And you're gonna be like, and you did it in my I car. Ha- oh, I, I had just gotten the car that I have now, and mm-hmm. I had was driving a bag down in the middle of the summer, and things had gone south in one of those bags, and then <laughs> that that molten garbage juice. Mm. Got into my trunk and it was like there was a dead body back there, dude. I can smell it now. Oh, I just made my whole sweet, stomach hurt, wretched, oh. awful. Well, I had just had Good that Lord, happen. That's disgusting. And, and in their defense, the uh, the porters or whatever you would call them at uh, where I go to get my car washed, he was kind of down because he opened that thing up. It could have been a dead body, you know. I mean, it's, yeah. it was ripe. And he, you know, they were, and I popped the trunk and I was asking them, can you put like an air freshener back there? And he was kind of like, he looked at me and he didn't say anything. He looked at me like, oh, I had a body in there, huh? <laughs> he, thought, he thought you're an Italian hit man. <laughs> you he, know? Thought you're, he was like, dude, he, I, I bet he went home and was like, dude, I swear I can't, oh. I have no proof, but I think this dude had a dead body <laughs> in this trunk. I popped that trunk and they have these little tabs, you know, that you can like yeah. throw in that they put underneath your seat. Yeah. And I was like, can I get an extra couple to throw into my trunk? So I popped it, and the manager was walking out because I asked at the the, the, uh, mm-hmm. the door, I mean, where you pay inside. You know, can I buy yeah. a couple of these extra? Because I forgot to tell the guy when you pull up. So the guy's walking out, and I popped the trunk, and that guy, the, the guy that was rubbing down the car just looked at me like, yeah, I know that smell. You know, he looked at me like, oh, man, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he was like, yeah, you kill somebody, bro, and it's cool with me. We, just had, tip me. we had this little wink that like little we were – and can Part I say this about the the wash the wash car places, wash tub places? If you're the guy that goes and corrects the poor kid making nine dollars an hour that he missed a couple spots, just wash it yourself. So, yeah, I've watched people really rip these dudes a new one, and it bothers me. Well, and okay, I know you're paying, but like, come on, then just go. If it bothers you that, but it's, oh, you know what's even worse? The guy that has a year free, he has a year free from the dealership. And you're already not paying. Well, you are paying. Yeah, you're, you're, you're paying. paying. You're, you're paying. I buy you're the paying. annual from those guys. You see, I, I, and then I do. like, and you know, sometimes they do dry your car with the towel that's probably a little wet. And there's some streaks. And then the, you know, you see these men and women just ripping these kids and doing. I'm like, dude, then just wash, wash it in your driveway with because I'm, I'm, I'm a country boy. We country boy. I, I turn on my music mm-hmm. and I wash my car in the driveway if we're not under water restrictions. And if you, if you go rip people, man. Then, just, just wash it well, yourself. Well, you still wash your car? I can't remember the last time I washed my that's, own car. That's fun. But I grew up doing it. That was yeah, it's therapeutic. I like turning on my music, seeing the neighbors, and just washing it myself because I do it how I want mm-hmm. it done. And, and now, hell, a car wash is thirty bucks, like twenty five, thirty bucks. You know, I've been yeah, in your car myself. a couple times. You're a neat car guy. No, no, I'm not. You're not. You're no, not a neat no, car. No, no, so obviously, I got in the you, car you right after lucky. your wife had been in. You got lucky. Really? Yeah, you got lucky. I got kids, man. It's, yeah. You might find a fry. Well, that, ass. There is, well, that's that's <laughs> not that's not on you. Yeah, that's, no, no, no. That's but, the circumstance. So yeah. if you don't have kids, yeah, is your oh, car, yeah, I, I, we, keep, we keep the car. Clean. My car's a big purse. It is an ongoing struggle. But I've you, never uh, seen your car dirty. 
Well, I ever not, I have to at least really not outside. stay on top of it. Mm. I really do because I I have a tendency to throw everything in the passenger seat, and once the passenger seat gets full, I start throwing it behind the passenger seat. So I, I'm guilty. I and, probably and, have like rundowns and, and, underneath the seat. Normally, you marry someone that evens you out. You know, right. it's the yin and the yang of life. If you're a slob, normally you end up marrying a neat freak, and yet things kind of come together. Yeah, we balance. My wife and I are both car slobs. My wife and I are not good about car washing or car cleanliness. Yeah, they just I mean, become giant rolling duffel bags and purses. Yeah, inside of the car is it gets rough. It gets rough sometimes. It does. I'm not gonna lie. My the inside of my car sometimes if you got in like if you went and got in right now you'd be like wow Rudy's kind of a slob. And I also you have nice cars. I normally I drive cars till the wheels fall off. I buy yeah. them and then I drive them till no one wants them. Not even me. Yeah. See, I did that with my Galant. I drove it till the engine was just like I will drive it till I you can that. have it. Yeah, I drove my and I drove my Galant into the ground. So Two of them. When I started here, my car was on its last legs. The last yeah. car I had, the Toyota. I don't. Anyway, um, so I'm new. I'm, you know, I've known Minix for 20 years, but I, and I started. So I <laughs> the very first time we're going to lunch, and he rides with me, and he <laughs> opened the door to sit down, and I think I had like a an old burrito or something seriously like a, an old burrito like in yeah. the seat and we were moving trash for him to sit out <laughs> he was like oh my god dude and it marked him because Menix is a neat freak it's like he's almost uh ocd oh he is on his uh, order he's a very orderly dude i didn't know that I must learn something so he, new every day that uh yeah man. gave him the heebie-jeebies yeah someone just said i i do it right i i get on them every single time vince then wash it yourself well, you are. See, that's the that's you know that's how they get you because you got the free, but it ain't free. You're always tipping, free. and you don't want to be the non tip. Don't be that guy. Oh, I hate those don't, guys too. Don't, yeah. don't. And I would not blame the people that work there. If you walked out and just got in your car, they should all be allowed to have an ice pick to give one of your tires just a little something, something. Yeah, don't be that guy, just, man. Don't, don't be, be that the non tipper. Don't be polite. Do you yes. know? Just say, hey, I think you missed the spot. Do you mind going over it one more time? And that right there, you only get one revision. That's what I do in video editing, where it's like, please let me know what you'd like to change. Maybe two revisions, and that's it. I'm just not. I, I'm just like I'm the worst person because I'm just not the complainer. Like I'm not taking my fries back. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be like, hey, I said no tomatoes. It's not coming I'm just, back. I'm just, yeah, I was not coming back and I'll just take the tomatoes off myself. Like, it's not that serious to me. Like, you know, these people already don't want to be there. There's still something about like, paying for alone. service, but you're right. I don't know. Go back. I yeah. know. I, and I have, we have to come in here and do our jobs too, but I just not me. I understand. Anyway, What's anyway, the I maddest think. you ever got? Have you ever like sent something like, I, went I off, refuse to eat this crap. I, I went want off on my the, money. And yeah, I went off on the Arby's drive through guy once because how he was taking my order. Oh, yeah. It wasn't because he messed up. It's just like, what? Yeah, I don't know. That ain't ranch. And I just lost it on him. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? And I drove off. Like, I went off on him. But, you know, normally I'm just. Have you ever escalated to the manager? No, <laughs> never. I've never asked for the manager in 44 years of my life. Not once. You've never I've go. I've never asked I'm for the need manager. to see your supervisor. No. You? Uh, no, I'm not normally the kind of guy like you. Normally, I'm not you know, that guy. I will, you know, complain rather loudly so the people around me know, but I'll just not come back. You'll yeah, just not I just won't go just, back. You know right. what? And the sad thing is, you'll never know what happened, but I'm going to downgrade and denigrate you and behind to everybody I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I will. Yeah. I, and probably owe them the respect of saying, look, this is a problem that you need to fix. Now, I'm never coming back, <laughs> yeah. you know, because normally that's the case. If, I, if I've gotten to that point, it's not if somebody does exactly what you do. Not far right. away. Right. Whatever that is. I like that. I like that model. Just don't go back. Well, and, no, if anybody, I I and if anybody asks me, I'm going to tell them this horrible. But don't the problem go. is I do think I owe them. I would like to know if I was the business you know what, owner that you that did too. not have a good experience. Now, I might not like you. And I might disagree with you, but I'd like to know that this is an issue that might at some point need to be addressed. Right. And if you don't say anything, it's not How going we to gonna stop. Fix it? Right. And then to make things even worse, I'm going to blow you up forever for what might have been a one-off. You know, it might have been. Just, you know what? There's that too. But I, you're not going to get me back. I'm not going to. You would have. You'd have to have a long track record for me to come back if I could get me mad. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to go Karen or Todd. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Karen, that's the most overused word in 21 <laughs> was Karen. 2021 was the year of Karen. And well, yeah. 2020 and 2021. Well, 2020, we, we were inside. So 21, they just went overboard. I think we kind of killed that name. Yeah, I, 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 but no, I haven't asked for them. You're a manager? You asked for the manager, Carl? I can see you asking for the manager, Carl. 
you know, I got really mad at my bank not too long ago. Well, that's different. And, and they asked if I wanted to talk to a supervisor, and I was just like, what's it really going to do? Yeah. So so yeah. I, I, I just kind of, like, said, it's okay. You know, I'm sorry if I, you know, raised my tone a little bit. It, it was frustrating, though. They took, like, $1,800 out of my account without asking me because of an error they made. So, mm. yeah, they, they put it back, but my 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 cow was a little messed up because they did it and i had already tr yeah it's a long story i won't get into it <laughs> you, you can but tell yeah. he's getting mad he's right getting now, mad now. by the way what yeah, i he's, called him again he's upset right I, now i almost closed it over it but I, I i get the issue i think i figured out why and i i didn't elevate it but you know there's there are times where if you have a service especially when it's your money and that much money no you, I'll, you no eighteen hundred eighteen hundred dollars okay. i'll lose uh, we've wasted this segment so let's go ahead all the way down to let's the bottom go. of the hole we're, we're in the rabbit no, hole. Let's good. keep chasing Let's do this it. thing. Now, the modern version of uh, let me speak with your manager is the Yelp review or the review Ooh. of service or product. I have still never done that. See, I've never left a bad review. But on I Yelp. read them. I go. I use them. Well, I know a lot of people do before. And see, that's that's touchy because just because you didn't like it doesn't. I don't read them because I want to make my own assumption. But I know some people that before they try a new restaurant, they will look at the reviews. And I'm like, you're trusting well, some it, people well, you don't even consistent, know. it's consistent, like if you see five or six within two or three days, like the service was awful. And you see right. three, four or five of those. Sorry, man. I don't right. know if they're true or not, but there's enough of them to where it makes me think, at least for a little while, you guys right. were having some kitchen problems. Well, let me tell you all something. And I know a lot of people know this. So I had my, my myself, my brother-in-law, my wife, we had a small pulled pork sandwich shop. We right. had a little restaurant and Yelp called me because we started getting Yelp reviews. Cool. And he was like, hey, you get this package. Ah, you never get a bad start cleaning those things up. You never get a bad review. We take we we clean up. We clean all up. So a lot of y'all are reading Yelp reviews that are awesome because they pay Yelp. But I don't go to the five star. I go to Not the one to star. I want to okay. go see what the problems are. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. You can pay. You, okay, I don't even know. But if I, I see no one star, I don't believe it. Oh, you don't believe it? Yeah, ain't nobody be... perfect. Right. And no, you know, and the, half the one stars are just funny reads because you can tell the idiots that are writing them had no idea what they were ordering. Yeah. You know, just they, they're reviewing the reason why they don't like things. You go, well, that makes no sense, bro. Next. I think it's more of a service thing when you're looking at Yelp, right? You were because the food, everybody has different taste buds. So if you're if you're going on Yelp, you're seeing if the service. Yeah, is I'm not. Yeah, it's not about the food, the flavor. But sometimes people are like, you know, there was way too much something, something in that. And that's their review. So now that yeah, I get rid of Who that. Cares? It's like the growing up when you would watch the Olympics, when it wasn't all digitized, you'd watch, you'd look up to the judges. And the mm -hmm. East German judge and the Russian judge and the Turkish judge, and you knew the East German judge about to screw us. You right. knew it every time. So they built in, we're going to throw out the high and the low. And we're going to, that's kind of how I judge those reviews. Oh, I'm going to throw out the highs, okay. we'll throw out the lows, although I want to read the lows. I want to see where the problems are, not the benefits, not the wonderful stuff. So tell me what you thought. I'll make my own decision about yeah. uh, stuff like that. But it, you're a yoke. But it's funny. I, I've never written oh. a review or a, I've at never any written point, one. Never. But I do utilize it. Yeah, see, I've never left the place and be like, I'm going to leave them a bad review. Or a good mm -hmm. one. I need or to do that, too. One. I should. Because to small businesses, it's everything. Like, you can make or break a mm -hmm. small business on the reviews. Because I because I know some people that call. I know a guy that owns a place. He will call them and good. be like, hey, what can we, That's why I feel what like can we do to make sure that this, this doesn't happen again? So I now should it goes be back to measured what you in my response. Don't be mad. Right. Just walk up and say, this just happened. Now, I'm never coming back. You know, I'm not mad at you, but my life's too short to have to worry if I come back, is this going to happen to me again? Mm -hmm. So, but here's what happened. Fix it or not, I don't care, but at least you know. Right. You can try to win me back.